Together. As soon as then you become best friends, you become soulmates, it was just meant to be. So let's bow our heads down in prayer and thanksgiving. Christ, we have wings of an angel. If not looking for perfection in each other, it's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and strength. You've known each other for years. To the first glance of acquaintance, to this moment is commitment. At some moment, you decided to marry. And that moment of the act ensued, you're made to love and to be loved. That's what brings you here. Now, I'll bet you've got a lot of advice from a lot of people here about love and marriage, haven't you? Just a ton, right? <laughs> What's well, my turn? You love doing walks, you love being in parks, going outdoors, visiting bookstores, and of course there's that love for fun. And you love to, the second key attitude is, you might not think you love each other any more than you right now, but you really can't. And that's the beauty of love. You can grow, you can grow, you, know, uh, you can look at each other every day and just say thanks be to God for the gift you are to each other. Because you really are God's gift to each other. And if you see each other that way, then always you know, you're in this wonderful space on this perfect day with the Lord may seal the strength of your love in the presence of us all. And so in the presence of us all, I ask you to say, I will always love you. Not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I will always love you. And with this ring I promise, I will always love you. Not just as a husband, but as a friend. Not to lead, not to follow, but to walk beside you all the days of love. I will always love you. I will always love you. Not only for what you are, for what I am. Not only for what you are, but for what I am and I am with you. I will always love you, not for what you have made of yourself, not to lead, not to follow, but to walk beside you all the days of my life. Just be young. Go in peace to love God and to love one another. Zach, you may now kiss the bride. special day. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan Grimmel. I met Zach over seven years ago. We were freshmen in college. <clears throat> Zach was my best man nearly two years ago, and he did a wonderful job. I know Zach. He probably took months to meticulously compose his best man speech. He scrutinized every detail down to the last punctuation mark. And as you would suspect, his speech had everyone at my wedding laughing one moment and in tears the next. My wife said it was the most beautiful thing she'd ever heard, and I agree. Unfortunately, Zach, 
I'm a married man and a father to a four and a half month old child. <laughs> so I didn't have that kind of time. <laughs> I mean, great so friends. Zach is someone I will always look up to. I gave him the nickname of that guy because he's always going out of his way to help others. If there's anything you ever need, you can always count on that. Zach and Sue's love for each other went through the greatest test this past year. While Zach was in Oklahoma going through pilot training, Sue was here in Cincinnati finishing up her last year of college in ROTC. They were only able to spend random weekends and holidays together. And to spend your engagement apart and still love each other the way you guys do proves you guys are meant to be together. You guys define that quote that says, you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry someone you can't live without. Like I said, I've been married for almost two years now, so I feel very qualified to give you some good marital advice before I wrap up my speech. The first thing you need to know is that no matter what, Sue will always be right. And any other married man out here will agree with me when I say a quote you should live by is happy wife, happy life. You remember those four words, and I guarantee your entire marital life will go smoothly. All, all joking aside, I love you guys. I couldn't be happier for both of you, and congratulations again on getting married. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you raise your glasses and a toast to Zach and Sue, the newlyweds. We wish you well for your future adventures. We're here. Thank God that you